I'd been wanting to get a new audio server rack for some time because all of my audio equipment that you see behind me, I have the EQ, the mixer, the compressor, the preamp. You now I've got all that stuff on a 12U server rack. And a 12U server rack is not very high. It, as a matter of fact, a 12U rack is exactly the height to fit all of that equipment behind me. And I want to buy more audio equipment, right? Once you get into this stuff, you want to buy more stuff. You want to add more stuff to the rack, right? And I can't because I need a bigger rack. <laughs> so the other day I bought me a 27U rack, a rack on wheels too. I wanted it to be mobile. So I, I really wanted a rolling rack. A 27U rack is of course more than twice as high as the rack I currently have. It's about five foot tall as far as the height which seems like more than enough space. I can't imagine I will ever buy enough, especially audio equipment, to fill up a five-foot high rack. So I bought this rack the other day. I bought it from Amazon. Uh, you can see the current price is a little under $200. And then since I bought the new rack and I was going to have all this extra space, you know, I wanted to buy some other audio equipment other than what I'm going to put in there. You know, I'm obviously I'm going to put my existing stuff in the new rack. But I went ahead and bought me this LED light. <laughs> And, you know, just for a little bling. So at the top of this server rack, I'm going to add an LED light. It's multicolored, so I can change the color. But the LED light, of course, is going to color everything on that rack because it's going to be at the top and it's going to be facing down, you know, at the face of everything in the rack. So I, I thought that would be visually just something neat to add to the rack. I also uh, bought some drawers because I'm going to have so much empty space on the rack. I, I bought a couple of uh, 2U deep drawers here and I also bought a shelf here because I, the server rack that I bought actually does not have a shelf at the base so it's just all the way open and I figured at, at the very bottom at least I should have some kind of shelf that I I could you know stack stuff on if I needed to so I've got the drawers I've got the shelf I've got the light I also went ahead and purchased a, a Behringer exciter processor so this is a sound exciter I don't really know what I'm going to do with this but it was you know an interesting piece of equipment I've been thinking about buying a lot of people use sound exciters or oral exciters especially recording instrumental music which I sometimes do play around you know recording myself playing various instruments so this was something else I'm going to add to the rack although I'm kind of excited you know to, to play with the sound exciter to see how it actually works on the spoken voice as well you know just uh, reading stuff or podcasting or YouTube uh, I might actually like the sound exciter on that stuff as well as maybe uh, using it for some instrumental recording so I've got all this new equipment that came in and it was just delivered today and I'm ready to put it together <laughs> And it took me about four hours to build the new rack and then, of course, tear down the old rack and move all the equipment over to the new rack. Again, this is the Raising Electronics 27U server rack. And you guys probably noticed <laughs> I have the light show going on on that, that rack now. And that, of course, is the Pen Elcom Multicolor LED light. I added that to the very top spot of the rack. Just to, to have some lights going on. I, I don't like the light show. <laughs> probably uh, what I'm going to do from here on out is I'm probably just going to pick a single color. It has either red, blue, or green for color choices. And I'm just going to pick one color and have it set as that color all the time. I, I don't want the, the laser show going on behind me. Also, I added the Behringer Sonic Exciter. So that Sonic Exciter, I absolutely have no idea how to use it yet. Now, I did add it as part of the audio chain. So my mic is going into a preamp, into an EQ, into a compressor, and then into the Behringer Sound Exciter. And then into my soundboard and then into the computer, of course. So right now you are hearing my voice going through the Sonic Exciter. I have no idea how it sounds. I'm going to go back and listen to this video later and see how my voice sounds through it. Uh, of course, later I want to experiment also with some instrumental recordings using the Sound Exciter. 
Overall, I'm really happy with the rack. The build quality is solid. For a $200 server rack, it is thick, solid steel. The coating on it is beautiful. It's like a black anodized coating. It looks like it, the finish is going to hold up long term. And I was really happy with the drawers that I had ordered. So I would ordered these two U drawers. I ordered two of them. And I really like having <laughs> these drawers behind me. So they just open out, and I've got some some cables and some other equipment. I've got a Scarlet 2i2 in the drawer, and various other things, camera lenses, and other things. I you know just equipment for doing the YouTube channel. Overall, I'm really happy. I got the new rack. I needed more space for more equipment when I originally got. The old rack that I had been using, that 12U rack, I didn't know it at the time, but I I was already maxed out on that 12U rack as soon as I bought it. I, I could not add anything else to that rack, so now I have more space, so now I can really start buying more audio equipment to play with. And before I go, I need to think. The producers of the show, I need to thank Michael, Gabe, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Mitchell, Entropy UK, John, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Lewis, Omri, Paul, Robert, Sean, Tobias, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. I also want to thank each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. These are all my supporters over on Patreon because this channel is sponsored by you guys, the community. If you'd like to help me out, you'll find DT over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.